look what happened with iTunes. I, uh, before iTunes, most indie markets, anything, you know, from the Jellyfish song to Julia News, you can neither, <laughs> no one probably knows either of those, yeah. but, I know you know, jellyfish. the Jellyfish song is awesome. But anyway, um, you know, these indie people didn't have any way, really, of getting a massively popular market. You know, they had YouTube, and that was about it. But, yeah. you know, once iTunes came along, they could put their stuff up there, and that sounds so suggestive, um, <laughs> but they could put their stuff out there in, into the world and into the, into the media stream, and bang, Julia Noons is doing concerts all the time. No idea what's happening to the jellyfish guy, but I thought I'd point him out. Anyway... Um, but you know, th this is this could happen with this website. You know, if it's if it's advertised in the right way, and you know, yeah. even Wait, if it's we just, just got an, one, we just got one an example of the chat box right now. LimeWire shut down. Sad face. No, don't use LimeWire. You idiot. Stop using <laughs> yeah, LimeWire. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, just to finish myself off, then um, companies can, you know, risk because they don't have to print it. Mm. They can risk to put it on the website, and if you know, then they might just think, "Oh, we'll put it on there because it's there, because we can, because I feel yeah. like it." And then two weeks later, maybe even fifty weeks later, boom! Massive burst of views. One person discovers it, reviews it. Mm. Everyone hears about it. Everyone wants it. Everyone is in love with this totally random manga about jellyfish talking to people. That is a real manga. Um, I've just totally oh, forgotten the name. <laughs> um, I think it's in one of the manga I own. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, and that's what could happen. You know, so it 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 has the potential. That's, that's the thing with everything, with music, with games, with yeah. books, with manga. It has the potential to be amazing. Absolutely. For, for example, really to it. That I just thought of a genius way we could somehow get another three million otakus mm. in an instant. What we need to do is we need to get every otaku who's ever lived to, and then we'll post one anime video, one short anime video, and then that's really interesting. And then everyone watch that, and then everyone send that to Ray William Johnson, because everything that Ray William Johnson says turns to gold it's just it becomes viral again big booty bitches 10,000 views in three years one day later five million if we do something like that and get ray william johnson i hate the guy but ray william johnson to actually say something like that we could do we could create a new generation of otakuism you know, that's actually a really good plan. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, really definitely. evil and seedy, but I like it. <laughs> Sounds good I, to me. Get Mega64 to talk about it. They already watch anime, so they'll be part of it. Um, sure. You know, just everyone. Yeah. And we could do that. Yeah. And get Lucas yeah, I, I think Spielberg that's how we do it. You know, all of the chat box now, please. <laughs> decide on in the chat box of one anime video... All watch that, and all send that as a suggestion to Ray William Johnson in the comment of his latest video. All do that. Nice. See what we can do. Nice. Right, one do thing before, obviously, Brent wants to move on to the next um, <laughs> item. Um, it's, it's, it's actually quite fascinating, because I, um, I am a YouTube fan. I watch tons mm. of YouTube videos. And watching, you know, I watch anything from uh, snipe shots from Call of Duty. I don't like Call of Duty. I just mm. find the, the videos interesting. Um, yeah. So, you know, actual anime. And every single person that talks about it once or twice mentions anime, manga, or light novels. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it might just be one little reference, but it, it might be a thing we can we can harness that mm. everyone is secretly an otaku and we need to find their niche. And to go back to the news story, that niche will be found on that website as long as yes. the publisher put the random stuff up there. We'll talk about our talk with many after show. We'll just... <laughs> there we go. That's a, that's a good idea. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great idea. I, I think it, it makes a lot of sense. Let's, let's think about that. That's, that's very cool. All right. So what else? Actually, um, speaking of making more, more manga fans, um, Shueisha is launching a new magazine, Super Strong Jump. I love that title. Um, for the most powerful kids on December 3rd. 
This is going to include spin-offs from popular manga series. So there's going to be a Rock Lee spin-off, a Chopper Man from One Piece spin-off, a, uh, what is this? Um, is that the sound of otaku's jizzing? <laughs> um, a character from Hitman Reborn spin-off, a Toriko spin-off, um, as well as a, um, not just a, like a character spin-off, but just a, a new manga for Digimon, Dragon Quest, and Monster Hunter, plus three new original manga. One is a cooking show, um, Supernatural Creatures at a, at a school, and another is about a, a golem, actually, which is kind of weird. So, Do you think it's a cooking mama manga would sell amazingly well? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Will. You mentioned cooking shows. And seriously, a cooking mama manga or anime, yeah. even if it's just like five minutes long, would cool. sell. Yeah. No, I'll take... Just put it in the DS. Put it with the DS or, you know, the yeah. DS games. Yeah. Put it on it. You know, put it on the DS and the kids can watch it. Yeah. Well, because I have a list of three uh, games which need animes. Like, desperately. Mm. Uh, the first one is the Ico series, Ico, Show of Colossus, Last Guardian, because the art style. The second one yeah, is yeah. Um, Blaze Blue. Why has that not, like, you know? I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you why. Watch the Street Fighter anime. Uh, <laughs> well, if it's done right. The third True. one, though. Mm. I mean, if Devil May Cry got an anime, why can't Bayonetta? Just anyone? Oh, because really? they, because if Bayonetta got an anime, it would once again put a poor image of otaku's. Bayonetta is the most sexualized game ever with the <laughs> poorest view of women. I am not a feminist. I am not even an equal rights person. I know that men and women will never get equal rights. But damn, is that game just all about <laughs> boobs shooting people. So, You've not heard of a lot of Japanese so, games then. Great so, play, great fighters. Dude, I've, I've seen them. Tekken. But, but, <laughs> but Bayonetta will do just that, you know. People already know about the the extremes, but Bayonetta mm. is just that much above the middle of the middle of the spectrum that it will put a poor image of Otakus again. Well, kind of like Queen's Blade. But we talk of this, about this, but... It's the anime done right thing. I mean, you know, for example, the um, you know the game, the game Phantom of Inferno. No one like it, it's it's pretty violent. It's very dark, much darker. Mm. But and it's actually very effeminate. It, it doesn't care about women. It has actually several scenes of one of the main guys beating his wife. Mm. Um, it's it's very dark and yeah. it's very effeminate. But the but you know the people who made Phantom Requiem for the Phantom understood that and they changed a lot of it because they knew what uh, makes this work yeah. and what can we do to and you know they did that with Devil May Cry Devil May Cry was done very respectively it was mm. good for the fans but good for anime in general and if we get people like that to be doing something like Bayonetta we can find a middle ground I mean it's about the people who think that it's direct translations are good but they're not it's yeah. the point of anime is it's original we need to find a middle ground we need mm -hmm. to change things mangas that are the animes that are the same as mangas are boring we want to find a middle ground what makes this great what's different like Scott Pilgrim man uh, mm. thing to get thing to fill it's sure. just that well the thing is um just again, sorry, I keep coming up with random <laughs> points. But, um, <laughs> that, that, that's cool. Go to for it. Talking about doing things for the fans, um, I think it's come to the point where we've done enough for the fans. Yes, keep the fans in your mind, but um, just an example. Um, World of Warcraft, the new expansion is, is for the fans. Yes, it's for... It's, it's, this is an example. It's for the fans. Yes, it's got new content for the fans, but it's prime objective. Even though they have got about 12.5 million players, their prime okay. objective is to get more people, and that should be mm. anime's objective now. They have enough fans, hardcore fans in America. You know, they've, they've got enough. What they need to focus on now is getting more, which they are not doing. Question: If otaku, if otakuism isn't for the few, is it still otakuism? Is it still that guilty pleasure that we all have? That well, one little thing of knowing that we're a small community. Isn't that what we love being an otaku for? Ha yeah, having everyone talk about anime is great. But that's just having the same as anyone having 
everyone talk about that film or that game. It's not special. And everyone, and I, I want to see the chat box, do you think that otakuism really counts? I mean... Well, I don't mind if I lose my unicity for watching, um, for watching anime. If it means there will be more good dubbed anime in England. Mm. You know, I don't care if it means I'll go to college and say, oh, did you watch the anime last night? And instead of what I usually hear is, no, get lost. <laughs> uh, well, it's not that bad. It's normally just no. But, um, you know, they go, oh, yeah, it was great. You know, that me you know, at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, you know, I got used to being, that being my trait. Mm. But at the same time, I go, yeah, I can talk to this guy for an hour now about anime. You know, I don't care about losing my niche of small friends. If I gain about 100 friends, I can finally have a conversation about anime with. And I can say, I mean, uh, over in America, I would say most college students are at least familiar with anime. Yeah. Um, and so that experience is really nice to be able to go to some place and uh, you know, talk about anime. And folks will at least know what these things are and be able to talk about it and you can introduce things to people. Um, f from my perspective, I, I don't care if otaku, uh, you know, the otaku fandom remains a, a, a quiet, special thing. It will become something completely different if it does get big, though.